it's so nice to see all of you on this Sunday. I, I know it's still early for a lot of you, but it's so nice to see the entire TRM family together. Good morning. Um, I hope you all have uh, read the instructions and are prepared for the yoga session for today and have not eaten. I have just one request. If all of you could just turn your cameras on, you know, as you are getting to see Sneha, we would like to see you as well, practicing all the asanas together, you know, working on our alignment and flexibility together. See, Sneha is ready with all her bolsters and chair and that everything is in order for us. So I'm just going to request everyone, take a minute, set out your mask if you still haven't. There are some people that I still can't see. Parina, Seema, Padmini, you guys are looking great. Everybody is fully set up. So nice to see everybody ready on a Sunday morning. How do you feel, Seha? Hi, good morning, everyone. So happy to see everybody on a Sunday morning. And it's really beautiful to experience this beautiful morning with a yin class. And uh, to experience the breathing, the relaxation. And I feel I'm really happy to see a lot of known people and the new ones, most likely to all of y'all. And it's really good to... Uh, uh, to uh, see those smiles and yes, I would request all of you all to keep your videos on as you mentioned. It's good to see you all as well when you all can see me. And if required, I will definitely help you all to correct your postures. So let's just take a quick minute there and yeah. then I'm going to hand it over to you, Sneha. We are all very excited. Thank you so much for doing this for us. I know during our last uh, Q&A session, there were a lot of requests. And uh, people were constantly requesting for us in our practice. So yeah. thank you for making time for us. Thank you for making this happen. Uh, I'm very really happy with this happening. And uh, I, there was a request for a basic Surya Namaskar. So we will be doing some stretches and just maybe two, three rounds of the basic Surya Namaskar on the floor or on the chair, wherever you're comfortable. And then we'll be starting the, the yin asana. Excellent. Excellent. I feel like... Yes, everybody ready? Just can can we get some thumbs up, please? If you're all ready, great. Awesome. Super, great. Perfect. So over to you, Sneha. We'll get started. Thank you, Jyoti, so much. All right, very good morning once again to all of you all. I have no idea about your medical issues as such. What I will be giving you all is options. If you have any injuries on your hand, legs, back. If you have any medical issues, Please do take the option. I have kept the chair. In case you can't do anything on the floor, you can do it on the bed or on the chair. The last two asana, you will be able to do it on the, on the bed as well if you can't go down to the floor. All right? Let's get started with some basic stretches first. Let's stand up, all of us. Basic stretches first. We want, some of us have just woken up being a Sunday. Some of us have eaten. I hope everybody has eaten at least half an hour before, not immediately before the class. Getting ready. Just move your hands. Shake your hands off. Shake your legs off. I will keep on giving you all options. Whatever medical issues you have, no problem. You can do this entire class. Getting ready. Hands are relaxed. Very slowly, breathe in. Take your head up. Breathe out. Chin to your chest. Breathe in one more time up and breathe out down. Center, breathe in. Breathe out, drop your right ear, the right shoulder. Breathe in, center. Breathe out the left shoulder. Breathe in, center. Breathe out the right once again. Breathe in, center, and to your left. Center. Breathe out, take your chin to your right shoulder. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, chin to your left shoulder. Breathe in, center. Breathe out to your right. Center. One last time to your left. Very important to open up our joints first. Taking a rotation of the chin. So take your chin to your chest. 
Take the chin to any one shoulder. Rotate your chin up. Take it up to the ceiling. Take your chin to your left or any one shoulder, your opposite shoulder. And back to the chair and reverse it one. People have extreme high BP, avoid to look up. Do only half a semicircle for the chin or a neck rotation. And center, only one time. Shoulders out, very important again. Why shoulders? For your upper back, for releasing the stress. So when you rotate your shoulders, move your neck to any one side and get a center. And to the other side and center. As mentioned, if you have any medical issues, please take options. I will keep on giving you all options. It's not necessary. Yoga has to be done on the floor, on a mat. It can be done on a chair. It can be done anywhere. One last one. And relax. Rotate your arms. These are basic warm-up, which is very important for all of us. So what I do is I take my hands up. I arch my back as much as I can. In case you cannot rotate your shoulder, make your shoulder, frozen shoulder, you can take it here. This is for frozen shoulders or anybody who has any elbow issues, you cannot know, take your hands up. This is good enough, all right? Whoever can, give me at least three more, please. Three more, open up that beautiful upper back, center back, little bit of the lower back. We not just start with the lower back. All over, a lot of us complain lower back issue, lower back issue. Today, we are gonna learn how to uh, ease out that issue. Relax. The cat and cow moment, most of us know we do it on the floor, but we can do it on the while standing. You open your chest, make your glutes tight, and imagine there's a huge tree in front of you, and you're going to hug the tree. You open your chest, breathe in, breathe out, you hug the tree. This is for your entire spine. Breathe in, you open your chest, take your hands back. And breathe out, hug the tree. Give me two more times. Breathe in. Breathe out. And one last time, guys. Come on, don't give up. And breathe in. And breathe out. And relax. Arms have opened up, elbows opened up, shoulder, leg. But what about the legs? The limbs haven't yet. In use of all support, if you have a balance issue, rotate your legs. Any one leg at least five times. Take it higher and outside. Higher and outside from your limb joint. This is your limb joint. So don't move your body. Hold on to the wall. No problem. Using a support to do yoga or any asanas is absolutely okay. Remember that. There's never a no-no for that. Making yourself more comfortable is very important instead of doing it in discomfort. All right? Changing the leg for five times. Again, please remember, use a wall support. We are not doing balances today. We are only doing yin asana, but it's very important to open up these joints. All our joints are very important to be opened up. Some of you may be runners, cyclists, gym people. You'll all know that these are important. Getting ready to the knees. Legs a little bit narrow, not too far away. Hands right above the knee, but don't pressurize them. Just rotate your knees. Five times clockwise and five times anti-clockwise, please. Good, I can see a lot of you are doing it. It's really good. Continue, please. Keep on breathing. Remember, breathing is very important. And reverse it. And center. Again, you can use a wall support for your ankle rotation. Again, very important. If our ankles are not opened up, a lot of things become difficult for us. So try, you just open up and reverse it. Any one leg, doesn't matter. While we do the asanas, I will request you to keep the same leg and same hand as I do, so that you don't go wrong in the uh, position. Change the leg, please. And reverse it. And relax. Our body is opened up, but the best part is the Surya Namaskar, which will open each and every body part. I will just show you a quick demo for the, uh, for the floor and the chair. Let me do it together. All right? 
I'll do a quick demo. On the floor, it'll be on the front of your mat. Breathe out. Breathe in. We do it together. Don't worry. Don't do it with me. You bend your knees to go down. Straighten your leg if you can't straighten. It's okay over here. You take it up behind. You go into a plank. Knees down. Chest down. Bhujangasana. Remember, Bhujangasana, the shoulders don't come here. Push the floor. Parvatasana. Whichever leg we took in the back, we take the same leg in the front. Forward. Squat. To back bend. And namaste. A quick one on the chair. We do it together. I'll be doing it on the chair as well. So namaste. Back bend. Forward. People are using the chair. Make sure the chair is against the wall. From here, you take only one leg out. The other leg for a plank. If you can't do plank, you can keep your hips a little bit high up. Bhujangasana. Again, if you can't go into bhujang, you will not have knees down, chest down. And you come back to a parvat. Stretch your body. In the same leg in the front. Forward and back. All right. Let's get started. I'll do one round on the floor, one on the chair. We do four rounds that way. Get ready. Hands alongside the body. Gather your breath first. Neutralize your breath. Normalize your breath. Breathe in from the nose and breathe out from the mouth two times. To totally slow down your breath. Your next breathe out, get your hands in the muscle. Breathe in, take your hands up. Back bend as much as you can. Breathe out for a forward bend. You can bend your knees to go down as much. You're not supposed to touch the floor if you can't. Keep it up here. I'll keep on doing the option. Don't worry. Bend your knees again and take your left leg back. Keeping your right leg in the front. If you cannot keep it in the air, keep it down. No problem. Take the front leg behind, the right leg back for a plank pull. You put your knees down, chest down. People on the, uh, on the chair will not have this posture. You breathe in to go into a bhujangasana. Snake pose. Breathe out to go into a parvatasana. You can always walk your leg one step forward. Bend your knees and push your tailbone up high. Feel a beautiful stretch on your shoulders, on your lower back. Look in the front, between your hands. Take your left leg in the front. Make sure your knee is not crossing the ankle. Very important. Breathe out to take your back leg in the front. Forward bending. Bend your knees to squat first. And take a back bend, beautiful back bend. And forward bending. I'm doing it on the chair now. This time, you take your right leg behind. As much as you can. Remember your chairs are against the wall, please. Breathe out for a plank pose. People on the chair, maintain your. People on the floor, knees down. Chest down. Bhujangasan, all of us together. Parvatasan. Push your hips back. Take your tailbone up high as much as you can. Look in the front between your hands. Take your right leg in the front. Back leg in the front. Breathe out. Forward bending. Back bend. And forward again. Second round. Take your left leg back. Right leg back. Plank pose, knees down, chest down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, look in the front, your aim is to take your leg in the front, you can even take it outside the hand if you want, no problem, breathe out for the forward bending, Breathe in, back bend, stretch your arm, and breathe out forward. The last round, I'm doing it on the chair. Take your right leg back this time, this is the last round here. 
feel the opening in the body very important plank pose people on the floor knees down chest down bhujangasana for all of us parvat asan push your hips back as much as you can feel a beautiful stretch on your back looking forward aim to take your hand leg in the front right leg in the front breathe in breathe out forward bending take the back leg in the front breathe in bend your knees to squat and back bend feel a stretch on your back and breathe out for namaste close your eyes if you can balance if you can't balance with your eyes shut keep your eyes open to the front slow down your breath again there may be a chance you may be have, your breath is not relaxed try to do the candle pose that is breathe in from the nose and breathe out from the mouth and relax very good everyone i think it's beautiful how our bodies have opened up in the morning now we enter the yin postures there are only four postures for today for the next one and a half hour that we have only four postures try to maintain it try to breathe i will keep on telling you what to do where this is going to work option will be given to all we are going for a malasana for the first one to open up our inner legs area original posture is you sit down we all know how the indian toilet was earlier right there was a reason why, why we had that your hand will not be here you push it your thumb is in the center of the chest i will keep on giving you option don't worry here if you feel it coming on your lower back you should try and keep your entire foot on the floor you should try if you can't if you have any issues take the pillow i'm coming to the chair as well sit down on the pillow widen your legs out and push all right this is option number 1 option number 2 for people who cannot sit down has a knee issue absolutely no problem you can still do the same asana with the chair you just sit down on the chair keep your legs out and keep on pushing your legs out walk your legs out and push it back with your hands all the options are right if you can you can bend down a little bit and maintain don't worry if you feeling scared to fall down stay up no problem all these options are giving the same effect absolutely no problem you look know, and can go over here also it goes beautifully on my inner leg out the hip on my lower back and my core all right i will go to the original posture as well and remember i am very famous for my timer but today i will use a timer timer start in now and i have actual timers not my timing so don't worry now once we are here it doesn't matter what posture you have picked up what options have you taken up wherever you are if you can shut your eyes try and shut your eyes give me one or two humming humming is when you like a bee you breathe in from the nose and you hum like a honey honey bee mm try and keep your eyes shut feel a beautiful vibration helping you out as mentioned whichever option you have taken all are right feel the opening feel the relaxation in your breath in your mind allowing your body to open up yes some of you all may feel a lot of stress on this area don't worry you can always shift to the bolster if you are down if you can't maintain your use a bolster no problem use a chair malasana a beautiful asana of yin helping your digestion problem helping you with the flexibility of the lower back in a leg 
strengthening of the calf and the shin area. Shin is the area between your ankle and your knees in the front of the leg. Extremely good for your ankles. If anybody has anything tight ankles with pain, but breathe in and breathe out. Focus on your breathing. Breathe out. Try and maintain the posture. Have a smile on your face. Smile to the pain in the body wherever there is pain. Keep on breathing, remember that. Try not to give up. Keep your eyes shut. Focus on your internal body right now. Where is it working on the internal body? Forget the external body working out. Yoga is all for the mind and the breath. If anybody knows how to do ujjayi breathing, the throat breathing, you can even do that. You breathe in from the throat and breathe out from the throat. You can do the humming or you can do the candle blows that is breathe in from the nose and breathe out from the mouth. All these three allow you to slow down your breath, slow down your thought processes and allows you to maintain in the posture for a longer time. As I mentioned, we're going to be holding every posture for a longer time. That's what yin is all about. It allows you to build up your willpower, increase your patient level, relaxing the breath, opening the body. Try and be as stable as possible, unless it is absolutely unbearable. Or else maintain the posture. And breathe, keep on breathing. Make sure you're not hunching down. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears and your back is straight. We have last two minutes to go here. Keep on breathing. I can see a lot of y'all in a beautiful posture. Again, mentioning Malasana, beautiful asana for any age group. Try and breathe as much slowly as possible. When your eyes are shut, you look inward. Focus on saying, yes, I can, and I will. Last minute to go. I know some of you are doing this for sure, or yin for the first time, and I'm giving it to you all for seven minutes. But the best part is, you can be there, maintain that posture. We tend to underestimate our own power of maintaining into something or doing something. But today you will realize how it is not, nothing is impossible, everything is possible. Last 15 seconds to go. Try not to give up. And 
And now very slowly, people on the floor, take your hands behind your back, on the floor, put your hips down very slowly, straighten your leg. People on the chair, get your legs in the front, straighten up your leg very slowly, and shake your legs off. Flap your legs. Your legs are straight. Take your hands behind and arch your back. Even if you're on the chair, hold the chair and just open up your chair. Same thing. And relax. You hug your knees for one. Wherever you are, you can just bend forward on the chair or you can just hunch your back to hug your knees. I'm asking you to hunch your back over your back. I want you to feel a relaxation on your lower back. Counter postures are very, very important. These are all counter postures for yin. Please remember, you can do the same thing on the chair, just bend forward, that's it. And relax. We had requested everybody to have a bolster. Bolsters are these round pillows, the oval shaped pillows. If you don't have them, you can use two square pillows or the pillows what you use in the night, the rectangular one, two of them to make it as this height, a little bit higher than the regular rough pillow. One of the most beautiful postures in Yen is again called a pigeon. All right. What we're going to do is we have the pillow here. Let me just show it to you as a demo quickly on the chair, also, you can do it. I will do the same thing on the chair. So don't worry. We go into a Parvatasana with our hands on the pillow to stretch our back. All right. From there, I take my right, I'll take my left leg in the front though. Left leg in the front on the pillow. All right. Take the back leg behind. If required, you can put a very small pillow for your knees at the back, if required. Now, what we don't have to do is this. Don't do this because this is going to come on your lower back. You have to maintain this posture here. Rotate the shoulders. Feel the bounce over here. Idea is to push your pelvic. This is your pelvic area. Push it down and maintain, all right? After almost three and a half to four minutes, we will start going down and we try and hug our legs. This is the original posture. The back leg will always be on the toes. If you put it down, you're dropping down to one side. We're gonna maintain this here, all right? Same thing on the chair. Now quickly just show it and then we go together. If you're doing it on the chair, right now my back is on the right side. I take my right leg. I put my leg, I put my hip also on the chair, okay? And take the back leg behind. And this is my pigeon here. It's beautiful. It's still working here. It's still going to work on my outer hip because now you bend forward. How much ever you can bend forward, you bend forward and you can hold the chair. And you can come back. In case you have a knee issue, you cannot bend forward. Just lean forward. That's it. It will not come on your knees for anything in this. All right? Let's get ready. Remember, pray every posture is for almost seven to eight minutes. So I'm going to break this down to four and four. I know I'm trying, I'm asking for too much for you all, but I want you to experience the beautiful yin. What we actually feel is beautiful out here. Getting ready? Even on the chair, you can go on Parvatasana. You push your body, push your hands, and stretch your back. Feel a beautiful opening on your back. But is one of my most favorite asana. We can actually maintain this for. We've actually tried it for 14 minutes and it's really beautiful. From there, you look in the front on the pillow or on the chair. Take your left leg in the front. I'm taking the left, you can see how my hips are going. You put your knee on the pillow. Your glute, this is your glute. Your, uh, your sitting bone area is your glute. It's not, it's in the air, all right? You take your back leg behind as much as you can. Put the back knee on the floor, rotate your shoulders back, and arch. Look front. There is no snake also in a bhujangasana, unless you're doing higher levels. You don't have to do this. I can't even talk when I look up. Yes, if I am, I am here now. See the difference? I can talk. Why? Because I'm stretching from my lower back. If you're doing it from here, and I'm just doing this, you can see the difference in my talk, in my voice. Look front, relax your eyes, shut your eyes over here, keep the back leg on your toes, and start with the humming or joy breathing. 
or the candle blows, whatever is easy for you. I've already set the timer for four minutes. It is not impossible, trust me, it is really beautiful. Nothing is impossible till you say I can, nothing is gonna stop you. Close your eyes again and breathe. Look front, look front. You don't have to look up. A pigeon doesn't look up when he's walking or when he's standing. Breathe. Feel a beautiful stretch on your glute, on your left outer hip area and the right near the limb area. The hip flexors. Breathe. Remember, divert your mind to your breath. As mentioned, nothing is impossible. Tell yourself, I can, I will, and I am going to do everything in my power to do the asana for today. Keep a smile on your face. Feel that energy, the positive energy in your body. There will be pain, there will be a lot of stretch. Enjoy it. Keep on breathing. Make sure you're not sitting down on your left side. You're in the center. Make sure your body's in the center. I can see some of you are really beautifully done. Try not to give up. Close your eyes. We still have time. In case you have any hand issue, elbow issue, you can even keep your hands on the chair and maintain here. No problem. If you have any issues of your hand, last minute to go. Try not to give up. Keep on breathing. Try not to give up. Have full faith on yourself. Keep on breathing. Last 30 seconds to go. Try not to give up, guys. We all came in this world with a breath. Try not to give it up. Try not to hold on to your breath. Last 15 seconds to go before we go down to the floor. And your next breathe out. Very slowly start going down. Put your torso on, your body on your thigh. Take your hand in the front and relax. Now, there, it may be difficult for some of us. You can put your elbows on the pillow and maintain here. You will feel the stretch only on your outer hip of the front leg. It's a beautiful stretch over here. Just maintain here. People on the chair, you bend forward as much as you can. Remember, we are here for four minutes again and breathe. Don't give up for today. The challenge that we are accepting for ourselves to grow in our own body, in our mind. To say, yes, we can. Yes, I can. Keep on breathing, please.
Remember the humming. You can do a lot of other stuff like joy breathing, normal breathing. Only focuses on your breathing. Very important. Try and let go of your body. Try not to control your body here now. Allow gravity to pull you down, opening up your outer hip area. Try to go inwards, the journey inwards, not for the external body, for the internal body. Pigeon very good for all the intestine, all the internal organs We get a massage. You're doing a very good job, everyone. A time for yourself, a time for allowing your body to let go, allowing your thoughts to let go. I know it can be very painful for some of us, but try. Unless it's absolutely unbearable, then come back and go back again, but don't give up for today. Focus on your breathing. Allow your body to go down more and more as when you breathe out. That's a lot of you are going 100% down, it's beautiful. Last minute to go, guys. Don't give up now. Last 15 seconds to go. And your next breathe in. Take your hands on the pillow. Or if you're on the chair, start coming up. First. Don't move your legs. Breathe in to arch your back first. Feel a beautiful relaxation. And now. Slide down. Now sit on your left hip very slowly. Don't try and do any <clears throat> immediate moment. Take your back leg very slowly in the front. Very slowly in the front. Take your time. Push the pillow out. Straighten your legs out first. One by one and shake them off. If you're on the chair, you can just stand up and shake your legs off. The next leg, I'll do it on the chair. Just flap your legs out. A request for all of you, I know y'all are all seated down. I usually don't like to do this when we are seated down. I don't ask you to stand up, but I will still request all of y'all to stand up and check the difference between both the legs now. One is fully opened up and one you feel, oh God, is still so tight. Do this. Yeah, some of y'all may not be able to stand this well because of the pain, but that's okay. Try and do this, you will realize this is heavy, this is tight. And this, you feel okay, this is totally light, there's nothing in that hip now. We opened it up. We did the malasana to open the inner leg first. 
We did the strengthening of the outer hip. We opened up the outer hip and the lower back. All right. Going for the next leg. People on the chair, I'm going to go on the chair, but we first go on the floor or on the chair for Parvatasan. Stretch. Keep on stretching your back. And now you take your right leg in the front on the pillow. I'm going on the chair for people on the chair. Don't worry, I am going on the chair. Take your back leg behind. And arch your back or rotate your shoulders. You know, rotating your shoulders is very important. You push your shoulders down and elongate your back. Feel everybody wants to look tall and thin. So tall, make your back straight and maintained. Make sure you're not putting your hips on the right side. I'm going to go on the chair for the same thing. The same thing on the chair. I've already started the timer. My hand is on the backrest. My right leg is on the chair. My back leg is relaxed. Make sure even on the chair, if you're on the chair, be careful. Keep on breathing. Breathe. Get back to your breathing, whatever you're comfortable with. Slow deep breathe in and slow deep breathe out. The back leg is on your toes. Make sure your body is not going to the right side, it's in the center. Your right glutes are off the floor, it's in the air. The glutes are basically the sitting area where we sit. Keep on breathing, please. Go with the humming, with joy breathing, candle blows, or normal breathing. Allow that body to open up. Allow that entire lower body to open up. Keep on feeling that opening. We still have a couple of minutes more here. Try not to give up for today. And slow down the thoughts in your mind. Don't allow them to stop. Allow them to come and go, but don't analyze your thoughts. Last minute to go here. Try not to give up, please. Beautiful way how your back can open up. How your body can open up. You're just relaxing your breath and maintaining a posture for a little bit longer time than usually what we do. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed, your arms are relaxed, your hands have nothing to do with the asana, it's mainly for the lower body. Last 10.
And now your neck, breathe out. Very slowly, start bending forward. Remember, go slow as much as you can. If you can't go down more, don't stress your body. Just bend forward and maintain. Again, remember, let go of the body. People on a chair, if you can't touch the floor, you can always keep a pillow down to elevate the floor and then relax your hands on it. Or just hug your knees and maintain that. Take any option you want. Feel a beautiful stretch on the outer hip area of the right leg now. Like we felt on the left leg earlier. Remember the humming or joy breathing. Candle blow is her normal breathing. Whatever suits you for today. Allow your body to just let go. Focus on that breathing to slow down, let go of a lot of things in your mind. Try to let go of any kind of pain and stress in your mind and your body. Any kind of negative thoughts from your mind. Breathe them out. Try and breathe in a lot of positivity in every breath. For yourself and people around you. Last minute to go over here. Try not to give up. Try and allow your body to go down as much as you can now. Last 15 seconds to go. Your neck, breathe in very slowly. First, take your hand on your pillow or the chair. Breathe in, slowly come up first. Don't move your legs, arch your back. Open up the shoulders. Feel that beautiful arch on your lower back. Now you sit down on your right hip on the floor. People on the chair. Slowly stop putting your hips on the chair. Keep your legs in the front. Very slowly. Straighten your legs out and shake your legs out first. Totally shake your legs out. Relax them down. Mm -hmm. 
totally relax your body. If you want, you can bend your knees and hug your knees for once again. So feel the relaxation on your back. You can just hunch your back, push your body back. Hold your wrist and push your body back. And arch your back. The cat in car while sitting down. We just relax your lower back and allow you to be there for a little bit longer time. Now the next one, you can do this on the bed if you can't go on the floor. Anybody who has any uh, internal injuries with your stomach or your chest or anything, I will try and give you the option not on the pillow, but, but maybe off the pillow. The original one, I'm going to try to do it on the pillow for today. What you're going to do is keep the pillow in the center of the mat. You put your knees out. Your chest is in the front of the pillow. You open your legs out. Turn the toes out. Drop your head down and maintain. Now, frankly, this is just going to be a very relaxing posture. It's not going to be working a lot. It's going to allow you to relax this area. This is going to be like a counter posture for the pigeon, what we did. It's called a frog pose. But the original one does not have a pillow. You have to be there without a pillow. We're going to be holding this only for three to four minutes, not eight minutes. People who have any abdominal problems, avoid to use a pillow. All right? Go directly on the bed or on the, um, on the mat. Bend your knees to just turn your legs down and maintain. I'm not joining my legs. My legs are apart. And just maintain. In case you can't, Straighten your legs out and maintain. Even this is okay. All right. Let's get there. But now you can be on the bed or on the uh, bolster, on the mat. On the bed also, you can use a bolster. Absolutely no problem. Your chest is in the front of the pillow. Open your legs out. Turn your toes out. Put your arms down and put your head down very gently. Remember, this is just a counter posture. We are doing it so that our back is relaxed. Anybody who feels cannot breathe can go a little bit more forward. No problem. And maintain that. Relax. I've kept the timer on. Keep on breathing. Again, remember, start with the humming or just normal breathing. Avoid to do the ujjay if you cannot. Ideally, ujjay breathing, the throat breathing is the best out here. And this posture, you learn how to do a diaphragmatic breathing. The diaphragmatic breathing is basically you breathe in from the diaphragm that is right below your chest. Breathe in from the chest and breathe out from the chest. So it's right below the chest uh, round, the diaphragm area. The diaphragm goes out when you breathe in and the diaphragm comes in when you breathe out. One of the most important breathing that's coming up for any kind of sports, for yoga, to allow you to focus more on your breathing, to allow you to let go of a lot of things in your mind, allowing your breath to really slow down. Allowing you to be focused in anything that you do all day long. Please remember, this is only for four minutes out here. In case you should feel discomfort because of the pillow, you can always remove the pillow and just go flat on the bed or on the mat. In case somebody cannot go on your stomach at all, you can be lying down on your back with your knees bent, no problems at all. Try and relax and let go of everything in your life. Any thoughts, 
any plan. Don't try and think what will you eat or what will you do after the class. Instead, think of what you are gaining at the moment. You're gaining calmness, peace, relaxation, oneness with yourself. You're getting to know yourself better. Keep on slowing down your breath as much as you can. Last five. Very slowly. You get your legs in the center, next to the pillow, or next to each other if you don't have the pillow. You take your hands next to the ear on the floor. Elbows towards your body. Very slowly breathe in to lift your head up. Push the floor to go into beautiful Bhujangasana. And now lift your hips up, go back. You put your head on the pillow and relax. If you feel you have a knee issue, push the pillow between your knees and then go down again. We need to counter once again before we enter the last one for today. And you slowly come up. All right. Again, the last one can be done on the bed, but with a, a bolster or a small pillow is also not a problem because you need to support your lower back. I just show you the whole posture and then we do it together. I'm going to be facing my back to yours. You can see my posture. I lie down on the pillow to make sure my back is on the pillow. My head is relaxed, my back is relaxed, shoulders are down, hands are at 180. I raise my legs up. I feel the entire leg is opened up now. I feel the lightness in my legs right now. After this, we take any one leg. What is externally rotating? You push your leg out, push your leg out, push it out and hold it. Other leg can be on the floor. If you, if you feel it's too much for that leg to be on the floor, you can bend it and keep it here. Idea is to push this knee out and pull it towards you. Pull your knee. I uh, try to take your knee to your shoulder. If you have a knee issue, you have a back issue, you can do this. No problems at all. Absolutely no problem. If you're pregnant, this is one of the best asanas for you. So absolutely no problem at all for you all as well. You keep on holding this. All right, we're going to hold this for at least five minutes on one leg, five minutes on the other leg, and the final one. We're going to hold this here for another five minutes. All right, this is the actual happy child pose. Which you see a lot of infants doing it. All right, get ready first. Lie down. Make sure your pillows are very well supported for your lower back. That's very important, everyone. Just check if your back is okay or no when you lie down. Lie down first. I will check on a couple of y'all in case you need help. I will try and tell y'all. Once you take your leg up, you will realize how easy your back is. You feel very relaxed. Once everybody's up, move your legs first. The reason I turn myself is for you to see my legs. That is more important. Now, your right leg. Take your hand. 
Turn the knee out. Turn the leg out as much as you can. This is called externally rotating your leg outward. All right. And then start pulling the leg. Take your right hand from inside of the leg. Hold your ankle and pull it down as much as you can. Left leg. You can either just bend it and keep it in the air. If you can, put the leg on the floor. Bend. Don't straighten that leg. And open this leg out as much as you can and the knee towards your floor. And close your eyes. Left hand is relaxed, doing nothing at all. And maintain and breathe. One leg, happy child pose, very important for all of us to open up the body. Only for five minutes here, time has already started. Again, start with your humming or jay breathing, candle blows or normal breathing, whatever suits you well. Focus on slowing down the breath, making sure your back is not hurting. It's a beautiful asana again. We see a lot of infants doing this asana. This asana allows you to open up your inner leg, outer hip. Allows you for your lower back pain. It rectifies your lower back pain. It allows you to push your core in, your navel in. And slow down your breath again. Remember, breathing is the only way you can maintain a posture for a longer time. Try not to stop your breath. Try to open up your body as much as you can. Close your eyes. While we are in this posture right now, let's try to go to a place wherever we are happy, a past of yours when you were happy. Anytime, any one incident of your life, where your mind was happy and your heart was happy. Try to relive that moment right now. It can be any moment of your life. There was no stress. There was no pain. The mind was very happy. Try and relive that moment again. That moment, we were the most positive about anything and everything happening around us. Try to feel the same feeling at the moment while you're holding on to this posture. Feel your heart being happy, smiling at you. Your breath was very relaxed when you are happy. Last minute to go. In this one minute, try to focus a lot on your breathing again.
very slowly. You take your right hand out. Don't move your leg. Just take your right hand out. Hold your leg from the outside near your knee. Get your heels to your glute. Bend your legs first. And slowly take the knee towards your chest. And just hug your knees for once. Don't pull it too much. Just hug your knees for once. And slowly take that leg down. Remember, no rushing into any moments. No disturbing your breath. Very important. Relax first. Adjust your pillows back on your lower back. There is a chance the pillow may move. You can always adjust it again. And this time we take our left leg up. Externally rotate the leg out. Pull it out. Roll it out. Roll it out. Take your left hand inside. And hold the leg out. Idea is to pull the knee down and open the leg out. Keep on breathing. Remember that. Breathing is a very important aspect of life, of yoga, or of any other physical activity that you do. Your right hand is relaxed. Anywhere below your shoulder level. Your neck is relaxed. Your shoulders are relaxed. Feel that beautiful opening happening on your entire outer hip, inner legs. Try and now enter meditation in your breathing. While you breathe in and breathe out, focusing on your breath, now enter meditation, allowing your entire mind and body to relax once again. Last two minutes to go. Try not to give up. any point you feel your mind is wandering, is going to some other thoughts. Try to relive 
the happy moment or any other happy moment once again to allow your mind to relax allow your heart to relax even if that doesn't help then start with the humming humming really helps you to be in the present moment allowing all your thoughts to be breathed out Last ten. And now, very slowly, only move your left hand from inside to outside to hold your knee from the outside. Get your heel to your glute. So bend your knees first, and then very slowly get the leg in the center for a one-legged Pavan Muktasan to hug your knees. Maintain the. And release the leg down first. Very slowly, please. I know this has been difficult for a lot of us doing it for the first time. What we can do is the next. And shake your leg. You may feel a bit of stress in some area. Don't worry, it's all opening. Now open up your leg. Externally rotate your leg out. Now this time, make sure your knee doesn't cross your hip. In a one-legged pigeon, uh, in a one-legged happy child pose, we pull our leg towards us. But here, we open the leg. We try to make this as flat as possible. Keeping the hand here, so your elbows are relaxed. Keep your hand here so they're not coming towards you. Don't pull your leg towards you. Keep it away from you. It will be in the line of your hips, not in front of your hip towards your body. You, just, you can hold your legs over here, no problem. I promise we will only do this for three minutes. Let's get there, everyone. Trying to make your entire leg as flat as possible. That's more important. Pushing the knees outwards. Feeling that beautiful opening only for two or three minutes. I've already started the timer. And maintain the. Keep on breathing, please. Focus on your breathing. Close your eyes. Feel the breath really relaxing down. Oh. 
to go, don't give up. Slowly, you take your hand on the other side of the knees. You bend your leg one by one, actually. Very slowly, please. Try not to rush. You may get a catch. We don't want that to happen. Only get your legs in first. And now, slowly, any one leg inside towards you. And the other leg, very slowly. And hug your knees. Papavan Muktasana, both the legs. Maintain the Put your legs down one by one on the floor. Your knees are bent. You will lift your hips up for Setu Bandhas. And now people who cannot do Setu, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go up to pull the pillow out. Now, in case you can't do that, just slide the pillow down and slide your body down. No problem. I maintain there, but then keep your legs down on the floor, push the pillows out either on the side or down, wherever you are comfortable. Maintain the just for one breath, please. Relax your back. See how your navel reacts to the entire body now. And you turn your body to any one side and sit up first. You can either sit on a chair, if you can't sit down. If you're sitting down, sit up on the pillow and cross your legs. When you sit up on the pillow, allows your back to open up. Now see how you can sit cross legs very easily and comfortably. And I require how you just close your eyes. Keep your hands in the most comfortable posture and see what is happening to your body where, how are your lower body opened up, your inner leg, your outer hip, your back. is opened up and you feel lighter on your lower body. Your breath is very light and calm and relaxed. While you're maintaining, you still focus on your breathing, slowing down your breath. I'll be saying a prayer for you all. You can take all the energy from the prayer to feel the vibrations from the prayer. Keep on focusing on your breath and relax there. Om. Om. 
Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Saksha Para Brahma Das my Shri Guru Vev Namaha Asatoma Sad Gamaya Tamasoma Jyoti Gamaya Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bunaktu Sahaviryam Karva Vahai Tejasvina Adita Mastu Ma Vidisha Vahai Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamahadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 the beautiful vibrations of the prayer giving you a lot of positivity a lot of energy in your body in all your chakras try and maintain to keep those eyes shut just for a couple of more breaths and gain more and more positive energy with every breathe in and breathe out.
maintaining to keep your eyes shut. Very slowly we get a hand in Namaste. You connect your thumb to the center of the chest, your heart chakra. And slowly start rubbing our palms. Get the beautiful warmth. Take all that energy. And gently place them on your eyes. Very slowly maintain their first. Start blinking your eyes in your palms. Take that energy all over your face. Open your eyes, open your hands. Take it over all over your body. All the way to your toes. Take a simple back arch and a forward bend as much as you can. If you're on the pillow, be careful. If you're on a chair, just bend forward. Try to go as much as you can just to relax your back one last time. And sit up. Thank you so much, everyone. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the beautiful session and you can feel the relaxation in your mind and your breath and the body as well. Thank you so much, Sneha. That was a wonderful session. I, I see a lot of relaxed, happy, glowing faces in the morning. It's always nice to see that. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Once again, thank you so much, Sneha. Um, I would like to inform all our uh, you know, guests who have joined today who are not a subscriber of the app. We do have an offer running uh, today where we are giving six months free on an annual subscription. So you can go and uh, download it from the App Store and from Play Store. And if you subscribe within the next few hours, you will get six months free. So we do say like, and you can use the code uh, extra six for that. So please do go on our Play Store and App Store and it's thinkright.me that you need to look for. Once again, thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you it so was lovely seeing all of you and we will hopefully see all of you again soon. Have a yes. lovely week. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great Sunday and have a relaxed Sunday. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay. See you all. Bye-bye. Namaste. Namaste.